because an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hi, my name is Sherman Shares, where we share products, experiences that help you improve your life. Today I'm talking about the Apple Watch Series 7. Supposedly it's rumored that it's going to have a glucose monitor. I honestly feel like it's a little too early from like what I've learned and what I've researched. Non-invasive glucose monitoring can be very challenging, but I love the fact that Apple is trying to get into the space. Now, why is this important? I think it's really important because if you've ever tried Levels, Very Stable, Nutrisense, January.ai, I'll put the affiliate links for the ones I've tried down below. They use the Freestyle Libre by Abbott Labs, and you can really customize and understand how do different foods impact your glucose levels. And being able to minimize the number of spikes you have during the day can actually help your long-term health. A lot of pre-diabetic folks will actually use a CGM to better understand their diet and to kind of prevent them actually moving into the stage of having diabetes. As a person who's a non-diabetic, this can be critical because as an Apple Watch, right? If you look at the screenshot here, the Apple Watch shares in the, in the country world, I don't know what this is, are growing, right? This is probably one of the most prolific smart wearables that you'll see. And even Tim Cook says, If you zoom out into the future and you look back, and you ask the question, what was Apple's greatest contribution to mankind? It will be about health. And I think that's fascinating because an apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple? Whoa. And Tim Cook has even wore a CGM for a few weeks. And there's been this really interesting study where they did cookies and bananas and they had people wear CGMs and they noticed that actually certain people had a higher spike to a banana versus a cookie. So for them, if they're trying to minimize their glucose spikes, eating a cookie might actually be better than a banana. You know, irrelevant of all the nutrition and all that, but just trying to minimize your glucose spikes. Right, and what is a continuous glucose monitor? Like, what does it actually do? It measures your glucose levels. There's a couple, there's two main companies, Abbott Labs and Dexcom. Dexcom has their G6, G7 coming out. Abbott Labs has the Freestyle Libre, the Libre 2. The Dexcom, I think, is more invasive and it's also more accurate, I've heard. The Freestyle Libre is actually pretty easy. It's a filament, so when you install it, you just grab it, you pump it in, there's a needle that goes in that pushes the filament in, the needle comes out, you toss the needle and the contraption that help put it in there. And then you literally have an NFC disc that just sits on the back of your arm with a filament that's inside of your skin and it's measuring your glucose levels intravenously, which is kind of like not exactly in your blood, but it's still getting close enough where you can understand your, long, your trends of your glucose levels. Whereas I think the Dexcom actually injects into your bloodstream. I'm not 100% sure. But if you're able to, like an Apple Watch is non-invasive. If you look at this device, it look at that tan line though, that tan line though. If I can just go ahead and put this on and it's able to measure my glucose levels from my skin or from my sweat, that is some next level technology. Being able to empower people to understand their diet, understand how they respond to different foods on such a large scale by such a large company, that's going to be insane. That's insane. I know. I think some of the most common deaths in the United States are because of bad nutrition, right? It's the diet is called SAD, right? People can use CGMs to help support them in weight loss, life optimization, increasing their energy levels. There's so many different applications that are not purely just diabetic related that a glucose monitor can support with. So this video is actually based off of Fit Insider. If you go to fitt.co or follow uh, Joe Venere, is it Venere, Venare on Twitter. I, I've been really loving his content. He had this tweet about glucose and then they had this article about glucose monitoring and metabolic health and just seeing the kind of companies that are starting to arise in terms of supporting and making it easier as someone who's a non-diabetic to use and leverage these technologies to improve their health is is fascinating like it's really fascinating i think a big piece is like you know athletes who are trying to understand how does my diet impact my day-to-day -day? how does my diet impact my athletic performance and if i can understand the the fine tune the right foods that are best fit for me and my genetics and how my body responds then they can really maximize their athletic performance and i think Google, like these big tech companies, they got cash. They're trying to put money in, they're trying to work with these companies like Abbott Labs and Dexcom and find ways to bring glucose monitoring to the watch. And I think that is, is really gonna change it. I, I don't think that we'll see glucose monitoring this year in 2021, but I think there's a slight chance in 2022, more than likely 2023 and beyond. It's just that I, I haven't seen anyone do non-invasive glucose monitoring yet. I don't know if the technology is possible. Apple has the money to invest and try to find a way but I'm not sure yet. And it's more than likely that Apple might make it similar to their blood oxygen level, right? They say it's non-FDA approved, but it's still there, and then only certain countries will, will be able to use it versus the EKG or ECG 
is FDA approved, then you can actually send that data to your doctor. And I think that's where it can be really powerful, right? If it's on a large scale and the data is eh, somewhat accurate, it's not perfect, right? If you're not using this for medical reasons, having somewhat accurate data and being able to see trends can be really powerful because somewhat accurate data, like the trends, if the trend is tremendously different, you're seeing 50, 80% changes in this mediocre data points that you're seeing, then you know for a fact that something is changing because if you add in that differential of like 10, 20% inaccuracy, you know there's some value to that trend of a high spike or a big drop. So now we get to leverage that information, then it all becomes about the software and the data. How do, how do we teach people to understand their data much easier using a lot less information? I'm curious, do you have an Apple Watch? Have you ever tried a CGM that's out there? Do you wanna try one? Use my link down below. Let me know in the comments, I'm very curious. Have you tried it let's learn from each other and I'm also curious if you had a wearable that you're wearing right now and they were able to add glucose monitoring how would you leverage that information what would you want to learn about your body I think dieting and trend these intermittent fasting these are different trends that will come and go maybe not intermittent fasting might stay it's not really a diet but having more data to understand how these different diets might impact you or different foods it's gonna be huge. If your Apple Watch is telling you, hey, this food that you just ate spiked your glucose, every time you go to McDonald's, let's say, then you're probably less likely gonna to go to McDonald's. Or when you go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a donut and you're like, oh yeah, and your glucose spikes up, your watch is like, hey, your glucose spiked, what did you eat? Be a little careful. You go again the next day, the next day, the next day, and it keeps buzzing at you, and you're like, damn, okay, I'll listen. That is great for one person but when you have it on such a large scale and like everyone has that for the most part everyone has a smartphone a large portion especially in the united states have iphones when you're giving them the ability and access to be healthier and live healthier lives on such a frictionless platform i think could really change like longevity overall health of the country like it's going to be insane maybe the united states will start to become healthier as a country because you know we've always lagged behind let me know would you like to see glucose monitoring in the apple watch series 7 Rate my mustache, people, zero to 10. What do you think?